Hello there. Welcome to Zerzex IT training and projects. We have created the new series of uh, the tutorials, especially for uh, final year students who falls under uh, VTU University. So in this series of tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to execute our uh, the basic uh, machine learning algorithms, as well as uh, we will explain you each and every algorithms in every series. Okay, so let me introduce with our company. So we are totally into training and placements. We offer the different services in uh, the corporate sectors, such as we conduct trainings, we travel across the country and uh, we conduct uh, trainings as, as well as the workshops. Based upon the college requirement, even we conduct webinars also. Our area of interest are AWS, Amazon Web Services, Okay, and uh, we are totally into machine learning. Uh, uh, we design machine learning projects using AWS. For the data analysis, we use Tableau, uh, desktop as well as Tableau Prep, Tableau Prep for data mining and Tableau desktop for data analysis. As far as automations are concerned, uh, we have the tool, we work on uh, UI path, okay, for robotic process automation, even we, uh, conduct workshops, trainings in WordPress also, WordPress as well as WooCommerce. Since you are in uh, the, our target audience are the final year students. Uh, if the students are facing any difficulty, uh, we will even we support them while executing their final year projects. Already half of the projects, we have the list of the projects. I will, uh, we have the list of projects. Half of the projects we have completed. We train them and we make them to work on those projects if the result, if we are getting the uh, the variations in the result based upon the base papers, so by taking those uh, results, even we will try the we try to help the students while publishing the papers. Okay, so this is our and uh, the other services. Uh, even we are into plagiarism check service, custom QR code for business uh, or corporate se sectors. Even we provide the internship internship. Uh, in AWS, Tableau, RPA, as well as WordPress. If the students' performance are good, based upon whatever the assignments we give, okay, we are whatever the target we give in the internship. So based upon the performance of the students, we try to place them in a, a different uh, companies. Okay, so our target audience, as I told you, uh, we are going to execute all the machine learning uh, lab programs, which fall under under VTO or syllabus. Okay, this 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 uh, sessions this playlist is only meant for okay. We have designed for the final year project uh, final year students who falls under computer science and engineering departments. For more information, please visit our channel xerxz dot uh, in. Let's dive into uh, the first session. In the first session, we are going to demonstrate how to install the Anaconda IDE. Okay, for the execution of our machine learning. Our programs so let's start with uh, uh, the syllabus let's try to discuss about the syllabus as far as machine learning labs are concerned there are uh, VTU has given complete 10 uh, 10 uh, programs okay so which starts from find this algorithm okay so find this algorithm next comes the candidate elimination algorithm next we have ID3 algorithm next back propagation algorithm using artificial neural network navio based classifier next we have navio basin classifier one is for a text one is for uh, uh, navio basin classifier there are two programs and we will be using the different set, set of data here to execute and basin next the seventh program is basin network okay so next came in clustering or came in uh, algorithm next k nearest neighbor algorithm next we have locally weighted a regression algorithm. So these are the fundamental alg algorithms, okay, which are required to execute any machine learning programs. Okay, so in this session, we are going to teach you how to install the Anaconda IDE to execute all these programs. Okay, in in our uh, to execute all the programs. So later in later on sessions, we will take one by one program completely. We will demonstrate or we'll explain how to exit uh, the theory part as well as the algorithm part and we'll try to execute the programs step by step line by line we will be explaining uh, 
we will be explaining the students kindly subscribe our channel okay for the latest update okay let's dive into uh, the main console let's try to see how to install the anaconda ide for execution of machine learning uh, program to first go to here you type in order to install anaconda just type go to official side of the anaconda anaconda en go to the official site of the anaconda by typing anaconda for python or anaconda python or anaconda download you take it will take you to the official website of the anaconda so here uh, uh, click on the first link okay. it will take you to the uh, software where uh, software uh, to download okay so as far as this is the main console of your anaconda uh, site here as far as anaconda site is concerned they have uh, they offer four different types of uh, the id one is for in, uh, individual edition for individual programmer next to team for if you are want to execute in team you can execute using this id enterprise edition as well as professional edition so as far as individual editions are concerned it's free of cost you can directly download from anaconda website okay so now to download okay but before heading towards uh, download uh, download and installation process let's try to see okay what are the anaconda supports for uh, the modules such as jupyter so our session in our machine learning programs we will be widely using jupyter notebook okay similarly it also support for um, uh, C S uh, spiders numpy bouquet dusk next uh, skytic learn pandas okay namba next panel matplotlib libraries tensorflow etc etc next is similarly these are some of the uh, the demonstration what they have given they what they have given along with the source code you can try this is the main console actually so after the successful installation of the anaconda you will get the main console okay which offers many ide platform where you can execute your python programs it also support for R language also. There is a R language studio. So using that you can install or you can run your R programs. Okay. So next is to download. Just go to Windows. Since I'm, I'm, I have chosen individual. I have chosen individual products. So click on individual edition. Individual edition. Now next go to the last page, last section of the page. Here you will find uh, the the uh, you will here you will find the software uh, for the installation uh, for the installation. So here, as far as uh, uh, they have given uh, the softwares for uh, Windows operating system, Mac operating system, as well as Linux. So the latest version uh, what we have right now is Python 3.8. So 64-bit it supports for 64-bit. Uh, as well as 32 bit graphical graphical user interface fine so i will install for 64 bit graphical installer click on this so uh, click on this it will directly it will ask you to download download the software which uh, which consists of around 466 mb so right now already i have downloaded the anaconda so just uh, proceed this okay keep next automatically it will uh, download the uh, software so after after successful downloading of the software next next so that next go to the downloads in download section in download section in second in download uh, section yeah so in in download section you will get the id you will get the uh, software with the icon like this Okay, so the installation process is very simple. Just follow the procedure, um, like how we are downloading our, your uh, our simple programs. Even uh, uh, it will download your if the Python interpreter is not available in machine, automatically it will download Python interpreter also. also after the successful installation of the Anaconda, 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 Anaconda. So you, will, you you will get this icon. Okay, so this icon will appear. So click on this icon. 
well so after it will take little time okay uh, to open your id so the moment when you open you will be redirected to this page so as far as this is the main page of your anaconda navigator so by default okay so root will be set here okay it comes with anaconda comes with uh, the platform like uh, jupyter lab okay even you can use jupyter uh, lab version jupyter notebook also you can use next to qt console you'll get even it provides powershell shortcuts okay uh, next is spider either you can uh, run your machine learning program using the spider or note jupyter similarly for uh, uh, if you want to uh, execute r lang r language or if you want to run any r language programs we have the console like we have the platform for r r studio okay so you if you, if you want to use this r studio just uh, click on install automatically the in installation uh, will takes place now all my programs machine learning programs i'm going to execute using jupyter notebook so to open this jupyter notebook click on launch when you click on launch it will be redirected to your web browser it will be redirected redirected to your web browser hold on a second and you can see all your program will store in under local host okay triple eight nine three now this is the main console of your jupyter notebook where you can execute uh, all your machine learning programs okay suppose if you want to uh, create a new program let us say i want to execute find this algorithm so to execute find out algorithm okay there is an option called here new okay so there uh, there is an option called new so by hitting on new you can create a new a uh, notebook similarly uh, and jupyter also provide you to offer you to upload so suppose let us say you have the file okay that file you can upload using upload option next is uh, for the time instance of time let's try to check whether the jupyter notebook works properly or not by hitting on new button click on new button you will be redirected to uh, you will get three options here python 3 text file folder as well as a terminal so since i'm going to execute my python programs so click on python 3 so you will again you will be redirected to the next page which will allow you to create the new file to execute your python programs okay so here here you can change the title let's say since this is just an this session in this session we are going to teach you how to inst install jupyter notebook so let's try to test whether the jupyter notebook works properly or not since this let us have let us try to test let me give the name of the uh, file b demo test okay demo test rename it Our next is let's see let's try to print hello message greeting message let's say type print okay type print next hello world hello world hello world program now to execute this uh the statement just press shift and enter shift and enter so that means the output since uh, execute the uh, python programs execute python interpreter execute uh, your program line by line okay so the moment when you hit on shift by clicking on shift and enter so the output of that particular line will be executed it similarly let's try to execute the another one let's try to take the sum of two number okay so to take the sum of two number what i will do i'll create one variable let's say a equal to let's say a equal to int of so if you are not providing int so it will take the string of values int of let me allow the user to put the value input next enter the value enter the enter the, enter the value of a enter the value of a okay so similarly next is go to next line b next int int of input enter the value for b enter the value of enter the 
value into the value of b okay so next just i will run simple a uh, formula here enter again sum is equal i'll create one more sum is equal to a plus b okay a plus b now i'll try to print the value of sum whatever the value we are getting it okay so to print again try the command like print enter the, the sum of the two values the sum of the sum of two value a and b are okay so next just type sum sum here let's try to execute this program better let's see whether it executes or not well so uh, uh, our simple program called uh, for hello greeting message okay is displayed called hello world now let's try to execute uh, a simple program to take the sum of two numbers so in this case what i have done so this is a program simple program so what i have done here i have taken two variables e and p okay suppose we are not providing integer data type so it will take uh, the string values so give input and i will allow the user to enter the value enter the first number similarly for b also okay i will assign i'll give the instruction like enter the second number so sum i'll take i'll create one more variable here sum which is equal to a plus b and print the values okay let's see whether this program execute or not let me put the first let let the first number be six similarly the second number be eight now the sum of the two number is uh, 14 okay so that means uh, our uh, enagonda jupyter notebook is uh, working successfully so i hope you are clear okay in the next session we will try to learn okay how to execute our first lab program called find us algorithm thank you thank you wonder not and please subscribe our channel okay for the latest update we even we have uploaded many the videos uh, of internship okay so internship of the internship so if you are interested you can register our next batch will start from 25th of august 2020 thank you thank you one and all